Hello boys and girls, I'm Mrs Caswell. I've picked a really special story for you today. It goes through all the months of the year, just like you're going to do next year. And it's about a hermit crab who needs to find a new shell. And that made me think of you, because in September, our classrooms are going to be like your new shell. So I hope you enjoy it. Find somewhere comfy, sit back, relax and enjoy. A House for Hermit Crab by Eric Carle it's time to move, said Hermit Crab one day in January. I've grown too big for this little shell. Hermit Crab had felt safe and snug in his shell, but now it was too snug. He stepped out of the shell and onto the floor of the ocean, but it was frightening out in the open sea without a shell to hide in. What if a big fish comes along and gets me, he thought. I must find a new house soon. Early in February, Hermit Crab found just the house he was looking for. It was a big shell and strong. He moved right in, wiggling and waggling about inside to see how it felt. And it felt just right. But it looks so, well, so plain, thought Hermit Crab. In March, Hermit Crab met some sea anemones. They swayed gently back and forth in the water. How beautiful are you, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to come and live on my house? It's so plain, it needs you. I'll come, whispered a small sea anemone. Gently, Hermit Crab picked it up with his claw and put it on his shell. In April, Hermit Crab passed a flock of starfish moving slowly along the sea floor. How handsome are you, said the Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to decorate my house? I would, signalled a little starfish. Hermit Crab picked it up with his claw and put it on his house. In May, Hermit Crab discovered some coral. They were hard and didn't move. How pretty are you, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to make my house more beautiful? I would, creaked the crusty coral. Carefully, Hermit Crab picked it up with his claw and placed it on his shell. In June, Hermit Crab came upon a group of snails crawling over a rock on the ocean floor. They grazed as they went, picking up algae and bits of debris and leaving a neat path behind them. How tidy and hard working are you, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to help clean my house? I would, offered one of the snails. Happily, Hermit Crab picked it up with his claw and placed it on his shell. In July, Hermit Crab came upon several sea urchins. They had sharp prickly needles. How Fierce you look, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to protect my house? I would, answered a spiky sea urchin. Gratefully, Hermit Crab picked it up with his claw and placed it near his shell. In August, Hermit Crab and his friends wandered into a forest of seaweed. It's so dark in here, thought Hermit Crab. How dim is it, murmured the sea anemone. How gloomy is it? whispered the starfish. How murky is it, complained the coral. I can't see, said the snail. It's like night time, cried the sea urchin. In September, Hermit Crab spotted a school of lanternfish darting through the dark water. How bright are you, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to light up our house? I would, replied one lanternfish and it swam over near the shell. In October, Hermit Crab approached a pile of smooth pebbles. How sturdy are you, said Hermit Crab. Would you mind if I rearranged you? Not at all, answered the pebbles. Hermit Crab picked them up one by one with his claw and built a wall around his shell. Now my house is perfect, cheered Hermit Crab. But in November, Hermit Crab felt that his shell was a bit too small. Little by little over the year, Hermit Crab had grown. Soon he would have to find another bigger home. But he'd come to love his friends. The sea anemone, the starfish, the coral, the sea urchin, the snail, the lanternfish and even the smooth pebbles. They've been so good to me, thought Hermit Crab. They're like a family. How can I ever leave them? In December, a smaller hermit crab passed by. 
I've outgrown my shell, she said. Would you know of a place for me? I've outgrown my house too, answered Hermit Crab. I must move on. You're welcome to live here, but you must promise to be good to my friends. I promise, said the little crab. The following January, Hermit Crab stepped out and the little crab moved in. I couldn't stay in that little shell forever, said Hermit Crab as he waved goodbye. The ocean floor looked wider than he'd remembered, but Hermit Crab wasn't afraid. Soon he spied the perfect house, a big empty shell. It looked, well, a little plain, but... Sponges, he thought. Barnacles, clownfish, sand dollars, electric eels. Oh, there are so many possibilities. I can't wait to get started. Oh, we hope you enjoyed that, boys and girls. And we can't wait until September when we can start decorating our shells and making memories. So until then, see you next time.